Hey guys, this is Samjivit with another tutorial about how we can add inventory items in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, as business owners, having sufficient inventory in stock helps us to entertain our customers anytime they come in. And like other accounting systems, QuickBooks also provides its users with the option to track their inventory. So in this tutorial, we will see whether how we can add our inventory items in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, when you install QuickBooks, the inventory tracking feature remains disabled, which you need to enable first to add and track your inventory items. So to enable the inventory tracking feature, go to the edit menu and select preferences, and then select items and inventory. And under company preferences tab, check this checkbox to activate the inventory tracking feature. And at this point in time, I'm not going to make any other changes in the default setting. Then click on OK. QuickBooks will let you know that it needs to close all the open windows to change this preference. So go ahead and click on OK. It will close all the open windows to make changes and then just click on the home to bring your home page back. And here you can see that we have some new features on the home page. Now either click on the list menu and select item list. Or you can click on this icon named items and services to add your inventory items. Both will take you to the same window and here you can see the services items we have added earlier. And to add your tangible products inventory, click on the item drop down and select new. Here it has selected services in the type field by default. Just change it to inventory part. And here we can fill the fields to add our inventory items. Well, I'm going to create main item and sub items. For the main item, we don't need to fill all the fields, but we should need to map it with an income account. Well, earlier we added services as an income account and create all the design services under that account separately so that we can track whether what design is bringing us the most. Well, we sure can track our tangible inventory products under sales account, which is a broad category, but we never know what future holds for us. So to keep that perspective in mind, I'm creating a new income account named Furniture. I'm making it a sub account of sales to track the sales that come under this line of product. And instead of clicking on OK, I'm going to click on next because I want to create sub items under this main item. Well, our main item has just been created and now we can create other items and can make them sub items of this main item. Now write the name of your item and if the item name is not too long and complicated then just write the full name otherwise use abbreviation and check this checkbox to make it a sub item of the main item. Well, if your supplier has provided you with the product part number, you can add that here as it makes it easier to reference the product. And you can write some purchase and sales description, which you surely can change while creating your purchase orders and sales invoices. It is not necessary at all, but if you want, you sure can as it's just for the purpose of pre-filling the purchase orders and sales invoices. Like the description, you can add purchase and sales prices too to pre-fill the purchase orders and sales invoices. And of course, you can change them too while creating them. And by default, QuickBooks assign cost of goods sold accounts to all costs, but you sure can create new ones and categorize your cost according to your need. And you can select a preferred vendor you buy this product from if you want. And here is the income account we have created when we added our main item to categorize the income that comes under this line of product. And by default, QuickBooks assign inventory assets to all the items and we sure can create new ones to assign to items according to our need. And you can add your reorder and maximum points so that you know whether what product needs to be purchased or not. Let's for the purpose of example, I add 2 as reorder point and 30 as the maximum items of this product in the stock. Well, if you are bringing in some stock relevant to this product, write the quantity and the total value here. But at this point in time, I am keeping these fields empty. And as of is the most important field here because it will affect your reports and ultimately your decisions. 
so do mention the right date you are bringing your stock into the business well i'm not going to mention the unit of measures at this point in time as it will be discussed in future tutorials and now check the information again to see if you need to make some more changes and if not then click on ok and here you can see that our main item and sub item have been created along with the info we provided let's say create another one Anyhow, this is how you can add your inventory items one by one and I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.